What's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. It's time to start an uproar in the comments section. It's time for NBA 2K14 versus NBA Live 14. Now I know what you came for. You came for my thoughts. But before we get into that, can I break down these trailers from E3 please? Just, just, just a tad bit. But the first trailer that I'm going to jump into is NBA 2K14. Now if you haven't seen this trailer, I don't know what rock you're living under. But this was a crazy trailer. Now, this trailer was all about LeBron James, but not just the real LeBron James. The video game James, as they call him. It's the in-video uh, pre-render of LeBron James. Now, when I first saw this clip, I was like, yo, you gots to be lying. They got his monster nose. They got the hairline down pack. You know, they're a little rough around the edges with the goatee. You know what I'm saying? It could be a little bit cleaner, you know. Right now, he looking like he the homeless LeBron. But when these cinematic facts... Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at the dribble, the shot, the follow-through. Look at this pre-game ritual. That's added, by the way. That got to be added. Something nice. Check him out taking the cookies real quick. And you know he had to fly. But what I got from this trailer was good cinematics. It was a couple nice things, but when I first saw the trailer, I said, yo, these dudes look slender like NBA Live 14. I was like, whoa, they might have to work on that. But it is pre-rendered for PlayStation 4, so you know, I could live with that. But oh man, oh man, when I saw that NBA Live 14 trailer, I was like, yo. Now, when it starts off, it starts off cool. You know, have, have your heart rate risen a little bit. But then when I seen how skinny... DeAndre Jordan was I said whoa and then I noticed as the clips went in between each other Kyrie got smaller and bigger smaller and bigger I noticed in one clip he had real broad shoulders with no neck and then in the next clip he was slender neck was longer than an ostrich but in this small clip I wish I would have made a standstill but DeAndre Jordan even though he is skinny he looks mad slender on that clip but it did me a little bit of justice, you know. I said, okay, they're going to come out on PS4, Xbox One, waiting till the next gen. I can believe in that. But now, it is that time. It is time to break down the cyber faces, the gameplay, uh, the potential modes, all of that right here, right now. Now, first, I'm going to hop on the 2K bandwagon right quick and say the NVIDIA game, James, on a pre-rendered PS4, looks amazing i mean to the gritty down factor they got the wrinkles in this ball <laughs> forehead they got the nose i believe that the nose was a little bit too jumbled up and wide but other than that it was pretty cool um they got some of the flaws that you know a person has on their face you know such as scars and you know things like that distinctive marks um the clip when he opened his uh, his mouth real wide i think they should you know tone that down a little bit but you know i love the headband you know it's his hairline is you know receding of course you know like some men, some men do you know i, I I'm, a, I'm a i'm a victim of that but uh you know he got the regular headband on i hope that they give it the double headband so that you know it, it'll cover his receding hairline just like he does in the nba the tattoos they don't look like they were just done out of a, a tattoo shop this time around. They, you know, they're a little bit more faded, but you know, you can see them. They're distinctive. They're not just jumbled up art on someone's arm. Now, in the NBA Live 14, can I hop on that? Can I hop on that bandwagon for a second? I didn't see any distinctive tattoos from anybody. Um, but what I did see was that the jersey is actually starting to move. As the player moves, so you know, I seen Kyrie dribbling the ball, and it looked like his shorts were swaying from side to side. But when it went to the wide five on five shots, it didn't look like the uniforms were moving at all. So that's the one flaw that I say. But let me get into the cyber face of Kyrie. I will have to say this EA did a bang up job. I will say that when it came to those cyber faces, I was like, yo, them things really look official tissue. Um, I like the little smirks that he puts on, you know, like he had the little smirk as he was looking at looking at his uh, offensive teammate coming to set the screen, you know, looking at the way the play was going to set up the ears. You know, the ears alone kill me. That's really how Kyrie ears is, though. I like I like the way that is really it really definitely looks like Kyrie. 
um it looks a little bit more like on the anime side it doesn't look like they're trying to make it you know too real you know but um hairline wise it looks good you know um the eyebrows are full crazy nose od when i saw Kyrie at the e3 press conference i was like yo i was looking up at the screen i was looking at him and i'm looking at the screen i'm like Yo, that really, that really does look like Kyrie, though. So, you know, it looks like EA has done a bang-up job with faces, with the cyber face. That's pretty good. But gameplay in general that I've seen from E3, all those small little clips and stuff like that. Um, also, I'll try to have some of them clips in the description. Uh, it's going to actually be off-screen as well. I didn't, I wasn't able to catch anything HD. But um, I did hear, you know, through the grapevine that... NBA Live was the best sports game presented at E3. That means Madden, FIFA, UFC couldn't hold its own against NBA Live. Now, I don't know if that was NBA Live trying to pipe themselves up, but I did hear that NBA 2K14 was not talked about at E3. It, it was like one of those things where you say, hey, man, what's going on with 2K14? And then, you know, so they start looking around to change the subject on you. So I believe that NBA 2K14 was not really showed much at E3 because of the simple fact that they gave you the in-video games, James. You know, they gave you a nice little close-up of how some of the players will look. We saw Kobe Bryant. We saw Ray Allen, you know, in the background as James was getting them cookies. You know what I'm saying? And that's just that. Now, when it comes to the gameplay for NBA Live, when I was looking at the play and the way it was set up, you know, I like the way they set the screens. It looked like the players really dug into those screens. You know, defenders was really trying to get held back, you know, d up. One dude was posting up. Looked like it was a good, great post up. But all in all, when it comes to 2K versus Live, you got to go with 2K. Ooh, don't kill me in the comment section, Live fans. But yeah, man, I got to go with NBA 2K. I've seen so much from 2K. I know what they can be. I know what they can do. I know what they can accomplish. With NBA Live, it's a toss-up. They're not coming out on the current gen uh, game systems. They're going to wait till the Xbox One and PS4. So, you know, all you can say is, I hope they do good. But um, I did hear that Bounce Tech is something vicious. With NBA Live, I heard that Bounce Tech is like OD. Basically, what it is is they added physics to the ball. It's like a yo-yo effect. If you got Kyrie and you dribbling the ball, they say that some of the moves are so easy, so fluid, that you all you got to do is move the trigger and you can do all these crazy moves and have your dude just on skates just standing still. So, you know, I heard about that when NBA The Elite was coming out. You know, remember when everybody was talking about the way the dribbling was going to be? It seems like they've done something a, a little bit more. They, they took another step with that, so they're trying to do that as well. Um, also, Synergy is crazy. Um, the player DNA with Live is going to be OD. Now, what, what kills me is, now we all know NBA 2K13, roster updating is like waiting, waiting on a Big Mac at Burger King. You're never going to get it, it seems like. But what NBA Live just heard, just came up with was they're going to come up with real date, like, I mean, an hour after the games are over type of date. So as soon as, like, say Kyrie dropped 30 and LeBron dropped 28 and it's like two games in a season and a prior game, Kyrie probably had 24, LeBron probably had 28. They'll, they'll basically put both of those stats together, uh, manage his, uh, his stats, his ratings and all of that. If the person gets injured that night, you won't be seeing them in the morning online all of that so I'm, I'm liking the way that sounds with live but when it comes to live you got to think is it going to come out that's the main thing that's the main reason i'm going with 2k because i'm guaranteed that 2k is coming out and um ld2k tweeted over twitter that next gen they will be trying to drop nba 2k14 the same day as the councils drop so that's why i'm, I'm on 2k's bandwagon right now let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If I missed anything, please let me know. But uh, I don't think I missed anything. You know, 2K knows what they had to do. Um, the graphics always been way better than Live's. You know, um, Live had the game modes, but 2K tried to make a nice little run. They ain't, they ain't seen Live in years, man. So, you know, I like the competition. I like that 2K has something to achieve now that NBA Live is back again for another run. And now that they've seen something at E3, I believe that now 2K is really going, you know, 
get down and dirty and start making the game better. But this is IKC signing out. I didn't took up probably about 10 minutes of y'all time. Thank you for watching. NBA 2K14 versus Live 14 and I'm out. Peace.